In this video, we will be constructing LR0 items for the given grammar and check if the grammar is SLR grammar or not. So here uh, the grammar is given G. So before moving on to the construction of LR0 items, I need we need to find first and follow of the non-terminals. Here the non-terminals are E and L. So first of so let me write first and follow directly uh, if you want to know how or to find first and follow do watch my uh, previous videos i've explained the algorithm and steps to find first and follow so follow of e would be open bracket and a and follow of l also would be open bracket and a uh, sorry first of e and l would be the same and here follow of a would be uh, follow of e would be dollar and then open bracket a and close bracket and on this side i have close bracket so here i am done with uh, first and follow my next step is to construct the argumented grammar that is g dash from given grammar g so here uh, i need to consider three things that is suppose s be the start symbol suppose s is the start symbol then initially i need to start uh, writing s s dash derives dot s and I need to obtain this production to the form s dash derives s dot. This is the initial state and this is the aim which we have to obtain. So this is for the start symbol. If a derives x is any other production having dot in front. So we need to obtain a derives x dot of this form. We need to convert it into this form. So here we need to remember that if a derives dot x and here if after dot whatever is there is a non-terminal then we have to write all the possible productions all possible productions of uh, x should be written with dot as its prefix so you'll understand this once we start constructing the uh, SLR uh, sorry LR0 items so firstly let's start from uh, the start symbol here the start symbol is E so E derives E derives dot E should be written like first E derives dot E so after this, after dot, I have a non-terminal that is E. So I should write all the possible productions of E with dot as its prefix. So E derives dot parenthesized L. E derives dot A. And then, yeah, here after dot, I have open bracket. Open bracket is uh, a terminal. So you need not consider it. After dot, I have A here. A is a terminal. So don't consider it. So let's put this in a box and name it as i not items so next over e i can shift this dot right so i'll write e derives e dot so i my aim is to obtain to this form right so e dash derives e dot so e dash derives e dot i have obtained i1 item next over open bracket i can write e derives dot would shift one place open bracket dot l and close bracket l being a non-terminal i should write all the possible productions of l so i write l derives dot e l and l derives dot e so after dot i have e on the both the productions so e possible productions of e should be written so e derives dot parenthesized l and e derives dot and a i will name this as i2 items so i'm done with this i'm done with this and i have this 
the third production I can write over A I obtain E derives A dot so this is my third production I write it as I3 now moving on to uh, the next production here I have uh, E derives E dot it is of this form the aim which we wanted so it's fine moving on to I2 in I2 I can write after dot I have L so first let's start with L so E derives open bracket L dot and close bracket here close bracket is there after dot which is a terminal so you need not expand there's nothing to expand so I'll name this as I4 for I4 production so I'm done with this now I have E here so over E I write L derives E dot L so L derives E dot L if you expand uh, uh, and next is L derives E dot so after dot I have L so write all the possible productions of L that is L derives dot E L L derives dot E so I am done with this now here again I have E so write possible productions of E E derives dot parenthesized L and E derives dot A so I will consider this as my I5 so moving on to uh, so okay, I2 I am done with this I am done with this I am done with this now I have E derives parenthesized L so over open bracket I can write E derives open bracket dot L and close bracket after dot I have L that is a non terminal so I should expand it so I get um, okay this is same as I2 right so instead of expanding this I can write here as I2 itself then over A I get I3 itself so I am done with I2 productions now looking at I3 productions there is nothing to shift further I4 also there is nothing to shift further in I5 I have okay in I4 I have close bracket right I can shift close bracket so I get E derives parenthesized L followed by a dot so this would be my I6 I6 production now uh, moving on to the I5 uh, items so let me consider this first one L so over L I get L derives E L dot so I will write it as I7 so next over production E I can write L derives uh, L derives E dot it's it's already done and if you shift this dot here E dot L E dot L is similar to I5 itself so over E I get I5 itself then over open bracket I get I2 I2 is repeated and over A I get I3 so I6 cannot be further uh, items cannot be shifted and I7 also further new items cannot be obtained so here I am done constructing the argumented grammar uh, G dash from the given grammar my next step is to construct the parsing tree so let me construct the parsing tree with actions and go to part action would comprise of all the non terminals that is open bracket close bracket a and dollar whereas go to would have the non terminals that is e and l here I will take all the possible productions from I0, I1, I2 till I7. Let me write down the productions here. So I have written down all the productions here. So let me start filling the values in the table here. So in I0, uh, I0 over E I would get I1. So I0 over E it goes to I1 that is 1 let me write 1 here and I0 over uh, open bracket I have I2 so over open bracket being a non terminal the uh, items are being shifted right so I0 over open bracket it is shifted to I2 I0 over open bracket I write S2 
and I not over A, I write shift of 3. So I'm done with I not moving on to the I1 part. So I1, um, one thing to remember is that if you have a production of the form S dash derives S dot, then you need to accept that particular production number, that particular item number comma dollar in item number comma dollar you should write accept so uh, e dash derives e uh, e dot is an i1 so i1 over dollar you should write accept so we are done with i1 i2 there's nothing of uh, now we need to check if uh, okay i2 there's i2 over l you get i4 i2 over l you get i4 that is 4 and i2 over e you get 5 and i2 over a you get s3 and i2 over open bracket you get s2 uh, coming on to okay i2 is done i3 no i4 over close so uh, looking at i4 over close bracket i get i6 I4 over uh, close bracket, I get I6, that is S6. And I5 over L is 7. So I5 over L, I get 7. I5 over E, I get 5. And uh, I5 over open bracket, I get S2. And I5 over A, I get S3. Now I6, uh, no, you can't write anything further. I7 also, you can't write anything further. Once you're done with filling action and go to part, now you need to look at the reduce part. So for reduce, we need to remember that the production should be of the form A derives alpha dot. If the production is of the form A derives alpha dot, then action column, you can write action of that production, that item number, comma, uh, follow of the left hand side A that is the non-terminal should be written as reduce of A derives alpha that production number. So explaining this considering the examples and here one more thing to remember is that uh, A should not be equal to S dash. So if you look, if you compare a derives alpha dot and e dash derives alpha dot, e dot, these two are same. But then the condition is a should not be equal to s dash. So you can't consider i1. Now let's start from i2. So if you consider i2, is there anything uh, possible to write? No. i2 is not possible. Coming to i3. So let me write i3 here. So let's write the production e derives a dot. So you can write action of 3 comma follow of a a here is e so follow of e is dollar open bracket a and close bracket should be equal to reduce of a derives alpha production number so e derives a e derives a is the second production right 1 2 3 4 is the second production so i write r2 here so i'm done with i3 now i'm going to i4 I4 cannot be written. Uh, coming to I5, I5 also there's nothing of this form A derives alpha dot. Coming to I6, yes, I6 is there. So in I6, I can write E derives parenthesized L followed by a dot. So here I can write 6, comma follow of E, that is dollar open bracket A close bracket is equal to reduce of E derives parenthesized L is first production. So R1. Coming to I7, I have L derives E L dot. So uh, 7, this is 7 production. Follow of L, follow of L I have um, close bracket is equal to L derives E L is the third production. So I write R3 here. So now, now that I have written, uh, now that I have found the reduced values, let's fill in the table. So E... 3 comma dollar in i3 comma dollar you should write r2 yes 3 comma open bracket also r2 3 comma a r2 
3 comma close bracket also R2. 6 comma dollar is R2. 6 comma open bracket is R2. 6 comma A is R2 and 6 comma close bracket is sorry R1 here. R1 here. Coming to 7 comma close bracket I write R3 here. So if you look at the table here since there are no multiple entries or conflicts in each cell I can say that the given grammar is SLR. So I hope you have understood how to check if the given grammar is SLR or not by constructing the passing table. If you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.